So we're still in the process of filtering that gunky stuff into the uh, vessel and uh, looking at all of the uh, CPUs everything is dissolved um, there's not any kind of metal left it's all been dissolved picking through all of the uh, CPUs in there I did notice if you could see right there underneath the silicon die on these two on the left I picked the glass off and that's gold that did not get dissolved did not get attacked by the acids um, there's some silicon dye on that piece there still with gold um, not bad I guess for the whole bunch that I did the rest of these I've picked through and messed with the silicon and it's all dissolved so what I did notice which sucks because I'm taking forever this is taking forever to filter is I still have that yellow some of that yellow gunky mess that's uh gotten through even my good filter um so the next so the next step to get this as clean as i can is going to be yet to filter once again however the next time i will use a charmin plug and it's going to take quite a bit to uh of time to uh get it all filtered through but once we do it'll be worth it it'll be a clean solution I will uh, take it from here once this bit is done and I'm gonna denox it and then I'll filter it to get out any other solids with that Sharma plug and then we'll be ready to drop gold I'll be back so here we are uh, poured off the solution into my beaker. Um, gonna denox with the sulfamic acid. Um, it's the white crystals. Um, since this is at the top, and I know that there's nitric in here, I'm gonna be careful not putting too much, as when the free nitric is there. I don't know if these guys can see it, but it's. It's reacting with this acid and uh, it's bubbling away, sizzling. I don't want it to take off on me and over run away and come off of this out of this beaker runaway reaction or whatnot. This stuff is also going to produce sulfuric acid. As it denoxes the uh, nitric acid, creates that which will in turn precipitate out lead from this solution. As I know, lead was present from the uh, solder on the uh, legs of the Pentium Pros and other CPUs. Um, basically, let this uh, reaction stop when you're adding some more of this stuff in there and uh, when it's denoxed all the way you shouldn't see any more bubbles or or stuff going on in here it wasn't too too much uh, there wasn't too much uh, free nitric in there as I've done this before and it really, really bubbled and sizzled. But while I have uh, this uh, spoon, let's go ahead and kind of clean it up a little bit. I'll have to put this down for a second. All right, while I am uh, with the solution, one thing I haven't done since we've under film is recording is uh, test my solution with Stannis. So, 
This is my Stannis chloride I use. I make it from Stannis dehydrate, tin 2 chloride dehydrate, and I just add hydrochloric acid to it. Um, I actually put the strips of tin in there, pure tin, um, just to keep it fresh, just to keep it working properly. So, with the Stannis test, as you see, it turned purple, dark, black, whatever you want to call it. Um, positive for gold, definitely. You know, in this thousand milliliter beaker, it's not more than probably not more than two grams. So, you know, it's a pretty good indication that uh, the gold is staying in solution, um, denoxing the uh, free nitric. You know, it tends to leave some white crystals. See that? So that's uh, always something that happens um, when you use the sulfamic acid. If you notice that piece of <laughs> um, ceramic in there, it was uh, one of those pieces that the gold didn't come off. And I just threw it in there since it was AR solution. Figured it's a piece of ceramic, it ain't going to hurt nothing to filter it off um but back to this i'm definitely gonna need to uh run this through the charmin plug it's just taking its sweet time you know but patience is a virtue um and it does have that mucky yellow stuff so you know i'll let this filter and then i'll pour this liquid into a smaller uh Speaker, whatever and I will uh, denox it also add it all together and I'm planning to um, evaporate this down um, I want to it's at a thousand mils I would prefer to get it maybe down to like six you know um, I'm gonna evaporate the most of the water as I can out of this and and stuff like that so I can uh, have a better concentrated drop when the time comes so um this is going to do it for this part of it when i come back on with the next part we'll uh have it evaporated down or whatnot and drop the gold thanks